hello guys welcome in this video i'll show you how to exploit privilege using misconfigured services in your linux system so yeah, this is the second video in the series privilege escalation okay while enumerating i found out that uh, mysql in this box is running it um, running as a root user and also we can just log in mysql with a root user without any password so let me show you how i find it out so typing this ps aux so all the process stats running in the system so you can check here that the mysql service is just running as root so this shows that yeah, mysql is running at root and also See, when I login in MySQL at root user, it doesn't require password. So this is a kind of vulnerability in MySQL. So it is pretty old vulnerability and there are a couple of exploits for it. So after finding that MySQL doesn't require password to access and also it is running at the root, I searched in, I searched in Google mysql okay i saw this term mysql privilege escalation expert where service is running as root going through okay and it found the exploit so it's from 2006 let's check what it is so there is a user defined uh, function dynamic library <coughs> exploit so what it uh, basically does is that it uses uh, uh, root privilege to run shell command sh so to do that just it create a bunch of table then create a new function then run the command sh from the function okay you can just try to do it manually also but the expert is there why not just use it okay let me download the exploit into the vulnerable box first just copy it and check if you can use wget or not so we are not able to use yeah, internet in this box okay let's first download it in our box Let's rename it as this raptor udfs c.2. Let's set up a Python HTTP server. Let's do that. Just type sudo python3 http. Server. Okay, I forget to set a flag dash m to import module and give a port number. Well, let me check my FE post 10.986.27 let's get it from that box so now I'm going to use wget to transport this raptor underscore udfc2 from my Kali machine to um, this vulnerable box Okay, now I got this 
raptor udfc dash two file so the steps to compile using gcc are also given in this exploit inside this uh, exploit db just, just follow them okay, and now this will just first we are going to create a this line will just compile this raptor underscore video to file and second line it will just create a shared library file let's run it okay let's say that we have to recompile it with this flag fpic it is for position independent console so let's do that let's edit in our first compilation path and now let's rerun the second script okay now i think we got this raptor udft2.so file okay now what is say that so we have to log in it uh, as root so let me log in into mysql to do that just type mysql that's u2 space by user that's p so we don't need password to log in as mysql root user okay, now we are logged in inside mysql let's check what the expert says us to do next so we need to use this mysql database okay, next we are creating a table Now next we are just yeah inserting this shared object that we created with gcc in this table so let me suppose change the directory home tools i think it's the correct directory home tools mysql dash udf okay Okay, now we insert editor. Okay, now we are dumping it into this user li live and user lib and raptor udf 2so Okay, now let's create a function. Okay, now we are actually able to create a new function name do system. So now we're copying this root ID to this temp out. This is changing its ownership of temp out and now running a cell. So I'm just not going to do this. I have my own system of escalating privilege. If I can run the command so to do that, just let me run select do system so i'll just copy bin bash to temp directory as new bash okay after that i'll enable suid in it so that it's privilege are preserved okay so what i did as so you can just run the command is this copying command so using this select do system function that's how we can run commands using mysql okay let's run it why right, forget to keep a semi column okay now i think it executed the command let's check in our temp directory okay now we got a new bash in here okay, let's run it and dash p for to preserve the privilege okay now we are successfully our root user can see that so we have the permissions of root user see so yeah, i check that uid easy id and groups all are root and this who am i command also they lost that we are actually our privilege to root user but that's how you escalate different services in 
that, that are misconfigured in Linux system. So I showed you an uh, example of MySQL. There may be other services. You can just enumerate and find those services and search for exploits in Google as I did. You can just use search exploit also. So I've already told you about create enumeration scripts for automating the enumeration process. You can just run them and those scripts will just find that MySQL is actually vulnerable. So you can also use Linux exploit suggester, it will automatically just give you the exploit to use. Okay, that's much in this video. See you next time. Okay, bye.